folks, Cal Kellogg here. I'm coming back at you again today to talk about Dodgers. The Dodgers you use for trout fishing, landlocked king fishing, and kokanee fishing. If you look in my box, you'll find a lot of six inch Dodgers like this, like this watermelon pattern chrome sling blade. You'll also find herring Dodgers like this. I think this is a, this is either a silver horde or a dick knight. Doesn't have a name on it. That's your standard about a four inch herring Dodger. That's a you know what a lot of guys consider a uh, a kokanee dodger and uh, of course you have my my rainbow trout type sling blades chrome chrome uv so anyhow but here's a dodger that uh, you may or may not have in your box this is a this is a seps strike master um and its counterpart actually it's the exact same dodger i believe this is from silver horde um Seps Dodgers are silver horde Dodgers with the Seps label put on them. So this is basically the same Dodger with a little bit different pattern. I think this Dodger is about an inch and three quarters long, if I'm not mistaken, and it's a little bit narrower than that. Now this Dodger will work well up to about 1.6, 1.7 miles an hour, maybe all the way up to 1.8 before it starts to spin. I don't use these Dodgers a lot, but this is something I break out when the going gets tough. And I'll tell you what I do with them. I almost exclusively run these with half a threaded Nightcrawler behind them. When the going gets tough, I like to like to bust out my Sep Strike Master or, or a Silver Horde version of same. Um, run a worm, you know, 12 to 14 inches behind it, and that is a dynamite combination. It also works well if you're at a lake like, let's say we're out at Don Pedro Reservoir, and we're trolling for kokanee, and maybe the kokanee are down 40 feet. We're using our, our traditional kokanee gear. We've got on a, a herring dodger, and maybe we've got a, a wedding ring spinner or something back there rotating behind that, and we're going, you know, traditional kokanee speeds, about a mile and a half an hour or something like that. Well, if you think there's some rainbows around, if you're fishing at you know 40 feet for the cokes, throw on a strike master and half a threaded worm and run that down 20, 25 feet or so. Um, that's a trick Monty Smith showed me and that's where you're gonna pick up several rainbow trout throughout the day when your actual target is kokety. Um, and actually, if you're at Don Pedro, it makes sense. If you're gonna run at that speed, roll some shad down really deep, 75 feet, targeting kings down there, run some kokanee gear at about 40, and run your strike master and worm combo up above that, and uh, you're gonna end up with a mixed bag of fish and a big old smile on your face. So anyhow, these, uh, these strike master size dodgers definitely should have a place in your tackle arsenal. You're not gonna use them every day or every trip, but uh, when the going gets tough, they can save the day for you. It's Kel Kellogg signing off. Hit that subscribe button down there and we'll talk more fish and tackle later on. Thank you.